hi you guys and welcome back to my channel and this vlog will be headed to denver colorado and this is a girl's trip for my friend's birthday and i'll just show you like the different clips and what we did and all that good stuff so it's gonna be a bunch of clips uh mashed together i apologize for the incohesiveness but you know we'll try our best to navigate through it so yeah as soon as we landed you know we were a little bit hungry so we headed up to brunch and brunch is really good it was at tupelo hungry i just got some chicken and waffles with some biscuits on the side the biscuits you know it was more like a five but the chicken waffles is really good and that night we went to tokyo to have dinner and this is just like a sushi spot um, Japanese inspired um, me and my friends we just had like some drinks and some sushi to eat so you'll just see in these clips we're just like toasting it up for my friend's birthday So this place comes with a few different options I decided to go with the sushi and you can also get a rice bowl if you like the next morning this was the fun morning it's time to go to winter park okay so we decided to go with going using the train because we're from florida and we know nothing about snow and driving in the snow and just for you know precaution sake uh we decided to take the train to winter park and it was around like i want to say a two hour train ride or maybe one from Denver, Colorado, and I think it was also like a two hour drive or one hour drive from Denver, Colorado if you want to go to Winter Park. However, like I said, like maybe I think out of the friend group, I'm the best driver, <laughs> but maybe I don't know nothing about driving no snow, so I was like, Yeah, we got we gotta take this train. Like, my friends were like, Yeah, we gotta, yeah. And yeah, you guys, I recorded this trip in February, um, so. I think they say it snows year round. I don't know if I'm right about that, but I think they said it snows year round in this area. So I think at any time, if you want to take a ski trip, you can. Like the snow doesn't melt for some reason during the summer or anything like that in this area. And yeah, so now we finally made it to Winter Park and it was a vibe like, we just sat here and just threw snowballs in the air because oh my god but yo i didn't know that snow sparkles like we're floridians so this is the first time like all of us have seen snow and it was wow i was appalled and i was like oh my god this, this is snow like it sparkles so i'm sorry you guys we were just too intrigued anyways back to the park and there was a lot of like places for skiing and uh slopes for you know for snowboarding all that good stuff honestly we really underestimated the size of this park because we were originally supposed to go i want to say snow tubing and like snow tour or something like that however we ended up missing our tour because we didn't realize like how far the tour was it wasn't even like in this area you have to take a bus to get there and y'all so to keep that in mind whatever you plan on doing in winter park like make sure like you, you check the shuttle shuttle and check how long it's gonna take you to get there so don't just like come to the resort and be like oh my gosh right here you know make sure you're in the right place <laughs> yeah so in our era we ended up rebooking and we went snowmobiling instead which was cool because this was like unguided and also we saw a moose um i don't know if you can see it in the back but it's right next to the van and it was cool but i heard they don't like humans so they could charge at you and they're huge so if you ever have a moose just know to like hide behind a tree because they have bad vision and they <laughs> they won't be able to charge at you but they they will attack you most mooses are known to attack 
so yeah you guys this is the part where we're about to go snowmobiling and they have to do a whole type of like inspection and check on them so um or else you'll lose your 500 deposit so make sure you record every little part you know every little scratch every little dent because they will charge you but yeah but yeah it was such a vibe like the mountains were so pretty like oh And these are just some clips of us traveling through the mountains and bro, y'all, this was a vibe. Okay, I had so much fun. And like I said, you guys, like the views were breathtaking. Okay, so technically we didn't really ski on this trip but honestly i heard skiing is tiring and hard to do so if this is your first time you actually want to enjoy i recommend snowmobile i'm not gonna lie because i can't imagine us like being tired from skiing and stuff and so maybe your second time you could go ski but if you're really trying to see the mountains and stuff let's see some views i think snowmobile is where it's at okay But like I said, we missed our snow, snow tubing appointment, but this is where the snow tubing would be if we were going to go snow tubing. But I still have my fun, okay? And these views were amazing too. This is just like a sky trolley, I don't know. But yeah. I'm Floridian, so the only thing we could compare this cart to is to like Disney or like Gatorland or something. So it's kind of like a resort like that, but I feel like it's bigger than like those places this thing is huge so yeah so we're heading back to our bmb and for dinner we went to venice which is like an italian restaurant i would rate it more like a let's say a seven like i just know i'm not really a pasta only person i need to have a mix and this is just like the bar we went to after i think it's called western room i'll look up the actual term for it and this was a good place to go to like they had like a little show showing us a little smoke with the drinks and things like that and i was like okay this is this is cool For the most part in Denver, what we did was eat. But <laughs> this is Lucille's, which is like a brunch place we went to. Uh, and they had like Southern brunch. Ooh, they had like the best beignets and like waffles and pancakes, you know, the brushy stuff. It was pretty good. I'll rate this maybe like an eight, nine. Yeah, it was really good. And then if you want to do something extra, you go to the Indigo Flow and they let you float in some water, salt water for like an hour or so it was a vibe too but yeah this is my friend's surprise so we did like a decoration of the wall for her and it was just so nice oh my god look at her she's so gorgeous go ahead and say happy birthday only in the comments below And for dinner, we went to Toro, which is like a really upscale like dinner place in Denver. And you know, they have stuff like sushi and steaks. I ended up getting a burger because I was running out of things to eat. So I said, I'm just eat a burger. And so it was a nice like vibe too as well. Very calm and chill. 
And yeah, now we're ending near the vlog and in this clip we went to the L5 rooftop bar to take some pictures and if you want like a nice little rooftop vibe, this is yeah, the place to be. And yeah, you guys, it's pretty much the end of the vlog and I want to thank you guys for watching. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Tell me your favorite part about the vlog. Do you plan on going to Denver in the future? Let me know in the comments below. And I'll see you guys on the next video.